Yeah. So um, last week, I think we, we covered um, so many things on uh, using the select statement. And I think uh, maybe you could mention some of the things that we did uh, using the select statement. We, we, we combined so many things, so many clauses. Derek, anything you can remember we did with the select statement? You can just mention one. Derek, you can unmute. No. We did uh, as. So what is that as? Uh, it, it selects the column name, but for, but like a, a custom name that you want the table to, to, the column to appear in. Yeah, but as is an abbreviation of something. So, like, what is that as? It's an alias. Yeah, alias. Okay, yeah. So, that is it. So, when you want to give, like, your column a new name, right, you use that as. So, you it, let it return this column as. Yeah, so maybe the column was named first name underscore. So, you want it just to give it first name without that underscore. So, you give it an as. And, uh -huh. Um... Ross, fly away. We also did something. Sorry, Ross, you're not getting here. Sorry? You could type it uh, because it seems um, your microphone is having some issues here and there. Uh, Emily, um, what I learned about the select statement, it's used to retrieve data from a database. So you can also use it with combinations of other statements like order by to arrange the uh, information. Yeah, to sort, eh? We call it sorting. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hillary? Uh, we learned about functions such as count, which gives you the number of uh, things in a, in, a, in a column, maybe. And average gives you the average of the data you've uh, you've inputted and some gives you the total. Okay. Yeah, so those are uh, average. You mentioned that you also talked about some. Yeah, so those are some of the combinations that we also talked about. Um, Dickens? Uh, select, uh, select to maybe pick uh, distinct values. Yeah. Yeah, the select distinct that we talk we also mentioned. Yeah, Valentine. So that is Valentine Mwaura. Um, select statement can also be used to for uh, I don't know, aggregate functions like sum, count, those functions. Yeah, the, the, that has been mentioned by, yeah, but um, we used to also select with something like where. Yeah, I, hope, I, I was hoping that somebody could say that um, apart from just using select from something, then there was also a constraint that we are putting, or maybe a condition where, right? We talked about that. So, yeah. uh, any other one that we talked about, Mariwa? So select with, so we are using select with a combination of other clauses. So which one did you also mention, Mariwa? Yeah, we talked about the order by. That has been when mentioned. The order. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. And uh, no, uh, give us another one, Mariwa. Uh, 
uh, Mario, as Mario is thinking about that, Steve. Uh, I know most of uh, the functions have been said, uh, but uh, I saw it, we use it to manipulate uh, data where we wanted to uh, either have them in an ascending order or descending order uh, based on the condition that uh, we were to use uh, when you're applying that function. That is order by, anyway, um, Lewis, Hello, sorry, I didn't get you. So, yeah, you could also mention uh, other clauses that we used together with select statement. Uh, have you, have, has someone mentioned select where, select where? <laughs> yeah, we talked about uh, where. Uh, at the moment, I can't think of any. <laughs> yeah, but we talked about, there's something where we talked about between. Do you remember us talking about between? Or even in? We talked about this, right? Is it true, Mariwa? We talked about having. Yes, 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 it's true. We talked about having. We also talked about and. Right? And or. Yeah, and also or. We talked about... Uh, did we talk about something called like? How about the less than? No, uh, of course, less than we were using it. Uh, like. maybe. Sorry? Are we, are, we, are we together? We talked about like, right? Yeah. So there's... Yeah. Yeah. So these things, um, you need to remember them. So I could just maybe drag you back. Ah, we even talked about limit. We talked about offset, right? How comes you've forgotten about limit? Where you want to limit the number of uh, entries that is being returned? And if you want to do a, a skip, if you want to skip some few rows before you start uh, retrieving the data, you use what you call the, use limit in combination with what you call offset, right? Yeah, so let me just check if this was, we've used of course functions like average, uh, group by we talked about, yeah, group by. So where department in one, two. So where employee ID between one and three. We used even other things like is null. So where higher date is null, of course this one is uh, just uh, a constraint that we do have. If you want to check for some data, it's not null. So if you want to retrieve information where uh, the department is not empty, where an employee has actually been assigned a department. Right. Yeah. So there are things that we were to talk to, uh, talk about, which is case and uh, subquery. I hope you still have uh, you you have this these codes that I that I that I shared the file that I shared that you worked on. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So let's look at this thing called case. So if you have this thumbs up, if you can see this these things. I sent uh, this file when I was sharing the video. Yeah. Yes, oh, Emily. Emily, is it a hands up or a thumbs up? Emily doesn't. Emily, can you check in the group? Hmm? Yeah, let us know when you get there. So we want to talk about something called um, a case statement. 
So a case statement is when you want to apply conditional logic directly within a query. And actually, as I to me for you use it in a combination with uh, this thing called when. Yeah. So you can write as many whens as possible <laughs> with what you call this case, the case case statement or the case the case clause. Right. So suppose um. And even before that, let's let's just remember that uh, you are working with uh, the school DB. So there is a school DB where we created some uh, tables, and then we called it uh, employees. So within school DB, there is a table called employees. So this is what you are working with. So you can see here we have employees like John Doe, Jen Smith, Alice, Bob, and Charlie Brown. And then department ID we had as one, one. I think this one was sales, was it? And then uh, let me see departments. So we had the departments here. And then the department, so one was sales, two was IT, three was HR, and four was marketing. So if you look here, we have one, one, two people in sales, just, that is John Doe and uh, Alice Johnson, and then we had two in a, one number, one person in IT, this is Jen Smith, and we have another person in, uh, that is Bob Williams, is in uh, HR, and the last person is in marketing, that is Charlie Brown. Um, and then their salaries, of course, including when they are higher date, they did they, these people were were hired. So, um, there's also something that uh, I'm just thinking about here that you can uh, you can have a look at. Let me remove this. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can I can uh, be able to execute it. So select. Um, so let me say select star of course from employees. So let me see what is contained in the employees. So in the employees we have first name. Okay. So let's say first name, first name, comma, then there's a salary. Let me see if I'm uh, writing the correct syntax. Oh, okay, so salary times 10. Uh, Control enter. Yeah, yeah, it's working. So sometimes um, you can uh, you can just want to maybe do a certain arithmetic operation on one of the columns. So for example, here we had something called salary, which is John Doe is earning fifty five thousand. So suppose maybe you want to do an increment on your salary on the salaries of these people. So maybe you have a percentage like you are, you are increasing percentage that is 50 percent yeah let's say maybe you want to increase them by 50 percent or you want to give them a 10 percent increase so of course 10 percent increase to uh 1.1 1 .1, eh? so that one means you are uh, you you multiply here by 1.1 1 .1. so that is salary 1.1 .1. so if you give them a, a one 1.1 a 1 .1, uh, 10 percent increase it should be that then you run Control plus enter. So you have that um, John is uh, was previously earning fifty five thousand, but right now with the one point one in with the ten percent increase, John is now earning sixty thousand five hundred. If you look at Jen, Jen was earning uh, seventy two thousand. With the ten percent increase, Jen is now earning seventy nine thousand two hundred. So if you look at this. Uh, 
what we have here first name first underscore name then salary times 1.1 so you could even return first name as and then you say first name as first name and then salary 1.1 actually this one you could pull it down salary one point uh, salary times 1.1 you can say as new you could say you give it as a new salary new salaries yeah and then when when you run this control enter now you can see we have new we have new salaries john uh, first name then we have new salaries at 6500 we have jen blah 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 so if you say maybe it was a five percent increase then that could mean that we are giving it a salary times 1.05 times yeah times 1.05 control enter so with a five percent increase yeah it's true so with a five percent increase john was initially earning 55,000. So right now he's earning 57,750, similar to the others. All, all of them have, um, have uh, gotten a new increase. Yeah. Are you able to do that on your end? If you are able to do that, just a thumbs up. That was like a by the way before you go to the other things. Thumbs down, no thumbs up. Yes, only Derek. Uh -huh. Okay. Next is um, I'm seeing a couple of people uh, able to do the same. Yeah. Next is this thing that we call the case. Uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing Ross. Ross is also uh, at par. Okay. Let's try to understand this. So suppose you want to to maybe just grade this salary or something, right? So if a uh, salary is greater than seventy thousand, you want to say that this is a high salary, right? If somebody is earning between fifty thousand and seventy thousand, then we want to tell we want to say it is medium salary if otherwise anything else becomes low salary try to remember when you are talking about excel and uh, we used the if statement so if somebody was uh, um was was uh, we had overweight and something right so if somebody was in the weight of uh, 70 to maybe i don't know it was uh, over 80 eh? then we classified it as overweight if somebody was uh, below that, of course, now becomes underweight. I think we remember that, right? Do you remember that thing that we did in Excel? Where we have the youth and the, the, the adult thing. Do we, do we remember that? So if you remember that, then you could think of it as, uh, as even this one. Um... So let's 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 see this before we yeah you can see here we are we are grading the salaries right so if you if you see select first name so we want to see the first name selected and so we want to see the last name of course and then we introduce now this thing that we call a case so you don't introduce it after writing the from employees whatever uh, from uh, the table that you want eh? so you first introduce it inside here so it's like uh, the same thing that we did in excel now we want to grade uh, these salaries we want to do a classification so that is when we use this thing called a case right think of it as maybe income levels right you have a list of people that have uh, various incomes yeah uh can data your people who have various income levels then you want to grade them how many what were maybe middle class how many what were 
low class and you are to a high class or something, right? Or medium salary, the same way we are talking about here. Or go back to that uh, overweight, underweight thing that we are talking about. You can still use it for this one, right? Or you look at it uh, in terms of maybe you have a, a BMI data kind of right. You want to you want to classify uh, people according to their to to their BMIs, right? And that is when you use you introduce what we call a case, right? Yeah. So so select first names, last name, and then introduce what you call the case, but ensure that you have a, a comma apple case. So. When the salary is greater than 70,000, you use now what we call then. So when salary is greater than 70,000, then high salary. Yeah, use the quotes. When salary between 50,000 and 70,000, then medium salary. You could also proceed and say, when salary uh so instead of greater than now you say less than uh, less than 50000 then low salary but all that can be taken care of by this thing that we call an else statement so when salary blah 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 and else so else means that everything that is not captured in the two statements that we've written here is now taken care of by this else statement we say low salary Once you're done with this, we use what we call end as. So end as is now what is going to, to give us even uh, this uh, title. So end as salary range. So we could even say, yeah, but of course if you leave a space there, you're going to have a problem, yeah? End as salary range. So you could write it this way, but, but not leaving a space. You could write it in, you join the statements, all of them together, and say, end as salary range. Um, so let's give it this. Then now you say, from which table are we picking this thing from? So from the employees table. Are we together? Who is left behind? Yeah, I'm seeing a couple of hands. Uh, uh -huh. Anybody with a question? I'm seeing Emily. Yes? Yes, Dickens. Yes, can you please pardon Apokwa and us? Okay, so the others, Ukosawa. Dickens? Yes. Okay, so if you're good with this. So um, if you don't introduce this and us, I mean, it's part of this uh, case statement. If you don't introduce it, uh, just see what is going to happen. And then you'll, you'll be having uh, this error thing. Yeah. So it's part of a the case statement that once you have written the the case zenye ukonazo you can see now it's tying it to this um once you have written that case statement that you want to introduce just understand that there is a new column that is going to be created and uh, once this new column has been created what is going to finish it off is this end us so end us is going to give us the name of that column of course right so end everything that you're doing as a column. But what is the name of that column? The column is called salary range, right? So you could even call it something else as uh, maybe what? Classification. You could even call it classification. Salary classification. So, but the name part is not very important. Uh, let's see. The key thing for you to know is you must end you must end all these calculations as a as a as a as a column that has a name called salary classification or salary range or uh, or even call it decans 
all right but provided you call it something if you leave it that way uh, you can also see there's an error yeah because there's an expectation from sql here so end it as a column but what is the name of that column the column is salary salary range are we together dickens i mean i don't know if there's any other um explanation of the same yeah but i think uh, you get it but if let me just see if you can introduce something here so that yeah so that you have this yeah you can also just introduce so instead of writing iso um let me drag this so that you see what i'm doing yeah you can see now salary range without the underscore so end as so you can instead of using underscore you can use this quote so that you introduce uh what um the space between the names salary uh, salary and range even these ones now you can use that as statement that we always write as first name as first name without the underscores i hope we're together eh? okay so if there's no any question then that is the select the, that is the case statement uh let me see if uh, mm, okay now suppose um let's look at this uh, employee table yeah looking at this department id probably maybe you need to reference first in ini ukuje kwa ukuje kwa the department table for you to know which department is do which department is smith which department is johnson or uh, williams or brown or something right you have to um you have to go back and reference and check what the departments are so that you understand this but you could also introduce use that case and uh, introduce a new column here so that you directly know what this one means are we understanding what i'm what i'm saying so that you just have a column here that is telling you what this department what what one stands for so one is equaling to maybe a certain department uh Uh, two is equaling to something three is equaling to something four is equaling to something can you write that case statement so that we have a new column here kindly write the write the case statement and i want somebody to present so write that case statement and uh, you present uh, that should take you one minute so write the case statement i i'll i'll, I'll pick a random and the the person to be chosen will be either a lady or a man So do that in a minute.
Um, are we are we done? Thumbs up if you're done. Yes. <laughs> or you are afraid that if you do thumbs up, you are going to be picked. Emily, uh, save your people. I also need saving. Uh -uh. Just tell us, let, let us see what, you, what you've been able to do. We'll correct it. I can't present. The laptop isn't connected to the net. Uh, who is going to present to tell us what they have done? Lewis? <laughs> Personally, I don't have this data. I'm trying to locate it, but I can't get it. And also, I did not get the question. What was the question? You don't have what? Peace. Or, or what did you say? I don't have this data. Oh, okay. The, the data that you are using. And also, I was asking, like, what was the question? Because I, I didn't get the question earlier on. What are you doing that you did not get the question? Well, a lot. <laughs> I'm juggling two things at the moment, but I'm trying to catch up with you guys. Uh, Derek? <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm seeing people skyping questions. Uh, we'll meet during the. Um, what do you call it? The project. Yes, D uh, Derek. I uh, can can present. Yeah, I like uh, people who are men like Derek. Yes, Derek, present. Stand up to be counted. Eh? Yeah, so this is what I did. Uh, I present okay. Oh, yeah. So you had a different Nini, eh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is just okay. So, yeah, just display it. Yeah, so uh, when select department ID case, when department ID equaling to 111, then admin. Uh, when department ID 112, then accounts. When department ID then IT, when department 114, then supply chain. Yeah, I mean, that is uh, that is just okay. So let's scroll up to down. Uh-huh, here for some. But um, which table are you referencing? Could you use the... So from employees, what did you want to select? So you only select the department ID. You could maybe write select all, right? So instead of just select department ID, just do a select all so that you see everything. Yeah, so so this is what you, you could. So you know that Derek Ocheng is working in the admin department. Eh? So the other one is Ariana Rona, yeah. And uh, the rest, Christiana Jr., Ken Mutai, uh -huh, even, even, even. Yeah, that, that, that is okay. Anybody who, who does not understand uh, what uh, we were doing? Uh, are we together? A thumbs up if you are together. 
if you understand what you should be doing. Thanks, Derek. You can, yeah, if I'm seeing quite a number. Yeah, Derek, you can just uh, uh, stop presenting. Thank you. Let me resume presentation. Yeah, so uh, I, Lewis, are we together, Sasa? I'm seeing Lewis, you have a. Oh, okay. I thought you, you, you had a question. Yeah, so that is the, 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 uh, the question that uh, you're asking. So instead of just um, trying to go back and reference here, Nini, uh, trying to go back and reference uh, the department's ID, it could maybe take. More time. So you just do the select uh, and case. So you could select everything. So select all. So if you say select all, you just do a, a select star. And then now you introduce what you call the case, right? So with the case, now you start uh, when. So when. So on my end, it's the Department ID. You could say department ID is equaling to one, then sales. So I know that that is a sales department. Then I could uh, just copy this. Control V. And then I have the last one there. So when department ID equaling to two, then I could call it IT. When the department is ID is equaling to three, I know that it is uh, HR. And then was it HR? When it's equaling to four, so I could say when department ID is equaling to four, then uh, what else? four was supposed to be so four is supposed to be marketing yeah so i could say when department id is equal to four then marketing yeah marketing i, I could say this or i could say else instead of writing that i could write this one else marketing right then there is here and us and us what do we end it as so and as uh, uh, department name And as department department name, and then I could say from from what employees from employees. Then I close the bracket. Uh, what what is the error that you are having here? So select star. Uh, let me control and uh, uh, come, come after the star, uh, select star. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. So select star, comma, case, and then you just do that. Uh, five rows returned. So I could say John Doe is sales, Jen Smith is IT, Alice. I could see it like uh, very quickly instead of going having to go back up to Kwana Nini. Yeah, have we got with the case statement? We go to subquery. The case clause, sorry. Uh, Ross is good. Only Ross, eh? I think everyone, eh? Unless there's any question, you could just um, unmute and ask. Uh, there is something called subquery. So sub, with subquery, it's like you have a select statement inside a select statement. Yeah. 
so it's it's also a technique that is called uh, nesting when you get to python you'll talk about nested functions so when, uh, when talking about functions you'll meet what you call nested functions so in 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 um in 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 sql you could say that uh, it's what you call subqueries eh? so in python or in r you'll meet things called nested functions um or even nested loops so think of it this way so we want to retrieve um employees with a salary greater than the average salary yeah so suppose that uh, we have 10 people um we have their salaries and then to, we sum them up then divide by 10 and then we want to look at nyakinarani that earns a salary that is greater than that uh that um that average salary right which any other example could you look at yeah of course you want to see those people who are living above maybe uh the poverty line or something right so if you could think of it around poverty lines uh, which is is it a one dollar yeah so you want to see this expenditure of people and then you you look at it let's see those who are spending above the per day like spending more than the um, the average that could be spent in a day that is in kenya probably so we say that these people are living above the poverty line yeah yeah so that same technique you could use it with subquerying so if we write uh, this select statement up to here um, if we write uh, if you write this select statement uh, of course up to here we are just going to be retrieving, retrieving the first name last name and the salary of somebody of a person i mean from this employees table and then now we want to see um we are now introducing a condition uh, where of course we talked about the conditions uh, previously uh, uh, and then now we want to look at where the salary of this employee is greater than the average salary but how do we calculate that average salary now we are going to use the select average i think we had used an example previously where we have a select average select average in bracket salary of course we want to average the salary from employees uh, let's first uh, even before explaining this way i always don't like uh, sending codes before because it's it will be more of like just talking, talking instead of writing um, but to still do it with this um so yeah, okay so look at this statement so select average salary uh, so select average salary from employees so we want to see those people whose um of course this one could be returned as something but we have done it but we want to look at those people uh, who have a salary that is greater than 60,600 so that is the select average so select average in bracket salary from employees so we want to average the salary you could also even say you may want to average something else uh, so if you wanted to, to to average the department id of course it won't make sense but this is the only numbers that you could average we only average the the numeric um, columns right so select uh, average salary from employees so we get the average is 60,600 then now we go back to that uh, nested uh, in a nested statement so we want to select those people uh, the first name last name and their salaries uh, of those people whose salary is greater than the average salary so now we introduce this nesting so we are nesting that uh, function uh, we are nesting the function um, uh, under this where condition so we could run it and just see that only jane and charlie charlie brown um they are gonna a salary that is greater than sixty thousand. yeah 
we found out that the average salary was 60k right but only two people have a salary greater than so it retrieves employees whose salary is greater than the average salary of all employees so you could look at this yeah Is it making sense or it, we need to repeat it once more? Yes? Are we together? Americans, are we together? Yeah, yes, we are together. Okay. Gatimo? I'm with you guys. Uh, Derek, are we together? Are you understanding the, the nested, um, the subquery? Uh, Mariwa? Uh, Emily is requesting for repeat. Maria was similar. Valentine, there is a Valentine Maura. Nathan, uh, and Rose. Uh, uh, how about uh, Faith? Faith, you haven't uh, heard from you today. Are you together? Faith Nanjala, okay. Ah. So that is um that is a that is a nested function, but uh, there's a, there's some requests that um, we repeat. So what happens with the nested function? So with the nested function, you have a function within a function. So uh, think of it like right now we are using a select statement. So we have a select statement inside a select statement. So for example, if you can see here, there's a select statement here. There's also another select statement um, that we are having in this place. So we want to find out the, the employees who are earning more than the average uh, salary, right? So their salary is greater than the average salary. Yeah. So in this list, if you can see here, we had uh, we had fifty five thousand, we had seventy two thousand, we had sixty thousand, we also had forty eight k, we also have sixty eight thousand. But then we want to find out out of these people, Akinanani are earning more than the average salary. So that will mean that you add 55,000 plus 72,000 plus 60 plus 48 plus 68. Then you divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You divide it by 5. Right? So we want to find out the, the, who are these two people or who are these three people, who are these 10 people that are earning more than our average uh, salary. And uh, probably you, you may want to understand why are they earning more than the, uh, more than the average salary. Right? or even by how far are they earning more than the average salary, right? And so, and now you choose the information that you want to be presented, you, the information that you want to see. So probably you only wanted to see the, their first name, or maybe their last name, right? Or we want to see their first name and then their salary. So first name, So probably we only wanted to see their first name and then their salary. Then from which table do you want to retrieve this information? We want to retrieve it from the employee's salary. And from the employees. So where, now this is now the condition that we are introducing. So there's this where. Yeah. So this is the, this is the condition we are, we are, we are uh, introducing. Otherwise, we could just leave it as, right. Otherwise, we could leave it as uh, we could we could even leave it as um, so, it was, uh, 
as control X. Yeah, so otherwise we could just leave it this way and say select first name uh, and what? Select first name and then the salary from employees. So this one is not helping us in any way. So we want to see uh, only, we want to um, introduce a condition where we want to see the salaries of those people who are earning greater than the, the, the average salary. So that is now where we introduce that uh, that where statement or where condition. So where the salary is greater than, now how do we find the average salary? So we can find the average salary by introducing the select statement average. Try to think of it if you do not use this, uh, if you don't use the select statement. Okay, ukiacha to EV, where salary is greater than average salary from employees or something. So here, we uh, you must use, of course, this select statement. Select. So we want to select average salary. And also, in this uh, select statement, you also have to uh, be specific. From which table are you getting this? Um, uh, from, from which table are you doing this uh, calculation, right? It might be that we are even referencing a different table. It doesn't have to be the same table, right? It could be a different table altogether. Yeah, because now these are interconnected tables, right? So let me let me even push this down so that you see. Yeah, but though it might confuse. You. But uh, let me pull it to this place. Yeah, think of it this way. So select. So select uh, where salary is greater than, then select average salary from employees. Yeah. So we are we are writing like a fresh select statement, yeah. We are select statement a uh, average salary equaling to ah uh, average uh, salary from employees. We could even also have another statement here from employees. Um, you could even have another where statement inside here where something blah blah blah, or instead of that you could even say order by. We could even say order by, uh, order by what? Order by, order by first name. We could even introduce something here and say first name, and then uh, you say descending, right? Or we could even say order by salary, uh, but in ascending. So once we have calculated, we've gotten this, um, uh, wait, so select average salary. No, this, this place is not efficient for us to introduce the, the, um, the order by. But what I was trying to tell you is that um, we could have multiple uh, conditions still inside here. So from employees, order by, even having etc, etc. So this select statement can get very long, right? It can really be very long instead of just uh, ending at this point, right? So here is where we could we could introduce. Let me see if we can introduce order by uh, salary, salary, and then say ascending. Yeah. We could introduce it here, so not inside this bracket because the, we can't uh, order the average salary. We cannot be order. So this order is applying to information that we have inside here, uh, up here. This one is not part of this select statement that we had earlier introduced. So instead, let me just put it here. Yeah, but the key thing is we are having a select statement inside another select statement. So that is what we call the nesting bit of it. Right. Are we together, Nani? Um, it was it was uh, Emily. Are we together, Emily? With all the numerous talking that uh, I've done. Okay. Uh, who else was uh, left behind? Mariwa. Or another repeat. Okay. Yeah. 
So um, select first name salary from employees. We could also introduce that last name in Iliqua Apple. And then just add it back and leave it uh, here and say salary. Right, from employees where salary and then select average. So salary is greater than. And then after you have that information, then we want to order it by salary. So we want to see. Anyway, let me show you first. Um, school DB employee doesn't exist. Ah, okay. This is employees. Mm, control enter. Yes. So now you can see we have ordered it in ascending order. We are coming from 68,000. So what this order by does is after you found the list of those people who have a salary that is greater than the average salary, then order that information for us in ascending order. So come from 68,000, go to the top. So if you change it and say order this uh, in descending and say control enter, you could see now we are starting with 72,000, then 68,000. So we are descending from the top, going down, right? So it's so the topmost now becomes lonely at the top, eh? and then now we trickle down to um, to Yule Menyana and Kidogo. Yeah, um, we could also even order it by a different thing, maybe the first name. Yeah? So we could even say, let's order it by first name. So those are just things that we had already covered. So first name in descending. So Jane to Charlie. Yeah. If you say ascending, it will start from Charlie to to to, to Jen. Or there's another thing that we had, which is say higher date. So we could order it by the higher date, the date that somebody was uh, hired. So you could even introduce it here and say. We want to see the higher date. Yeah. So um so Jane, so in descending. So Jane Smith earning seventy two thousand was hired in twenty on twentieth. Uh on twenty on fifth of um, on twentieth of May, sorry, twentieth of May twenty twenty two. And uh, Charlie Brown was hired on fifth of uh, March twenty eighteen, right? So that is also just talking about the order by functionality. Um, apart from that, we could also even have another another statement here. Yeah, now you can see how it gets interesting. Um, so here we say we want to retrieve employees from departments with more than one employee, right? So we want to introduce, uh, we want to retrieve employees from the various departments with more than one employee. So if we find your department has more than one employee, we retrieve that information. We want to see the first name and also we want to see the last name of those people. From employees where, yeah. So now, when do you introduce a, a select statement? That, is, that could also be your, your question, right? When and where, right? Where do you introduce the the select statement. I'm talking about now the subquery. So you must know also where you must be keen at which point you want to introduce the the, the select statement. Are we together? So um, select statement sometimes is not just this. Uh, of this length. Sometimes you can find yourself writing a code from 347, when I 358 because you had a select statement that had different, not really a select statement, a subquery that had different, uh, different combinations, right, or different um, clauses inside it. So here, select statement, first name, last name, we want to see those, uh, the information of those employees. Uh, from the various departments that um, have more than one employee, from employees, and we said if you want to count uh, the number of uh, data points, 
you use what we call count statement. So there is this count, but you must include this asterisk. Eh? If you because we tried it, uh, just to show you that if you don't have this uh, asterisk in bracket asterisk, then uh, nothing is going to work for you. You are going to have an error, which I can still just show you again. Yeah. So this is what you are going to get. And then it's, um, is it highlighting it for you? Yeah, but there's an error statement there. So it's not valid at this position, expecting for selectables. No. But just know that without that comma, without those parentheses, uh, it's not going to be uh, working for you. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, so are we are we together at this point with the subqueries? Yes. We talked about the having and group by. I think we are we are at par with that. Eh? Are we fine? I'm seeing Ross is doing a thumbs up. Is it only Ross? Maybe everyone else. Uh, Derek, I'm seeing Emily. Yeah. So practice more on uh, on 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 sub queries because sometimes it can get a little bit complex and confusing. But no, um, it's just like you're introducing another. So it's you're you're writing another sub query statement. So if you don't maybe get what to do, you could write that sub query statement outside first, then copy, come and copy and uh, copy paste it uh, inside um, the place where you want to introduce the sub query, right? So where the, in most cases you'll find yourself using it with um, the where, with the where statement. So where department ID, where the uh, where department ID in, and then so select department ID from employees group by having yeah. So we want to group the departments and then having now you count the number of people that are inside um, uh, those various departments, right? So where you use now the count count star. So we, we in the previous example we used uh, select count star, right? When we are counting the number of employees, I think uh, you can remember the code that we wrote to some somewhere up here, not there, but it was uh, one of the codes that we wrote uh, in the previous class, talking about the select star count, select count star. Yeah, it's here. So you can see, so select, then count, yeah, as total employees. I think this one we we dispensed with. So you could see we have a total five. So if you don't introduce that as, you could see that we have count star as the heading of our nini, the heading of the, of the statement. Uh, I think that is okay. And then I we introduce something called joins before we 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 call it a day. These ones we had covered them in the previous class. So and let's talk about um, joins. Yeah, introducing the joins. So what did you say joins are? So or, or how does a join help you? How do you think join is important? Anybody? I mean. So what is the essence of join? Valentine Maura. What is the essence of join in a SQL statement? Or maybe in SQL database? Um, I think it is used to co combine two or more tables so that they are able to um, retrieve data from all those tables and bring them all together. Yeah, you want to combine two tables. So if you check, there's something that I did here on purpose. Yeah, even when we are when we are talking about the case, so that you want to. Uh, 
was it when we are talking about this casing so case when blah 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 so that you introduce a new column and call it uh, this it sales hr marketing so this thing it will also be possible for us to do it but using what we call the using these joints right so using the joints we could also just have that information this information that we have here right so we could join join the two tables so that it's easy for you to understand who is what and where which is which um so let's check the codes and so we wanted to join um so and again for you to join a, a statement or a, a two tables sorry you could even join more than more than two tables you have to know um what are the similar columns right so for example if you check uh, the employees table because those are those similar columns are, are what we are going to use if you check department id is in the employees table one two one three four if you go back to departments table there is also one two three four i mean the department id so information contained under this department id is similar to the information contained under this department id here but there's also something to note the two columns does not um it doesn't have to be that they are they are, they are, they are, they are the column names are the same so for example here you can see the column name is department id and also here the column name is department id so sazingine on this column you could find this one in the just department, but the information contained here is similar to what is contained inside another column here, but this side it may it or maybe department reference or something, right? So it doesn't have to be that upper company department ID, upper peony department ID. Are we together on that? The columns do as uh, lazima like at is equal the same name. So it's your duty to check is it that information contained probably maybe just called here. Uh, maybe let, let's think of it as maybe employee ID. But if you could it's called department ID. Of course, the, it doesn't work for this. Uh, I'm just trying to, to give you um, a scenario where it could be different. Yeah, you could be having a sales table and on the other side, it's called maybe uh, order ID. On the other one, it's called maybe order, right? So, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you understand that. So, um, it's necessary for you to understand, like, what are the names? Yeah, that is the key thing to, before you start the process of joining. Uh, when you talk about join, the different types of join. There's left join, there's right join, there's left outer, there's full outer, there's inner join, right? Of course, inner join is just this thing we call join. Yeah, but there are different combinations of um, of, of of join, right? Okay. Um. So understand this statement. So when I say select e dot first name. What do you think select what do you think e dot first name mean? I want to see from Emily Emily today the the spirit is dwelling on you. Um so when you say e dot first name, what do you think it means? What does that e mean? Emily, Aviambo, if you're speaking here on mute. Okay. Um, I think it means to select um, the first name from E, maybe a table named E. Um, before you can faith, I've used E. What does E stand for? Faith Nanjala, you're on mute.
This question is for ladies. Ross I'm not sure. Ross is not sure. Um Mariwa Mariwa you're on mute. I'm also not sure. Uh, the last <laughs> name is speak. Uh, uh, I think there was another lady here. Valentine Maura. Uh, Valentine Maura, yeah, Valentine Maura. Um, it represents. It is an alias of the employee table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Rickens, maybe if there's something you wanted to add. Yeah, I'm a partner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, from the employee, we have we have renamed as in to me pay to an alias as you said anyway. Yeah. Um so there's there's this thing that we sometimes we could uh, we could use um so if we we are, we are talking about um a table called uh, enrollment or a table called courses. I could use C to mean uh, courses, right? Are we are we are we are we together? So I could say C means courses, D means departments, right? Um, if I have another table here, let me see other abbreviations or other tables that we have. Now there's no table in staff. I just want to. So there's that table generally you people created. Yeah, you could see this orders, right? P, S. You could use a letter to stand for a for a certain table. So if we say maybe order statuses, right? I could say maybe E to E to, to E to J. OS, right? So if I come here and say select e dot first name, then it means um, first name from the employees table. Sometimes you use it this way because the same information contained in employees table could also be contained in another table. So for example, I could have a, a department ID in the in the employees table but there could also be department id uh, in uh, in the in the employees table uh, in the in the department's table right so in the departments and also in the employees table so now you are a little bit specific so from which table should i retrieve this information so select e first name means select the the column called first name from the employees table it could be that this first name is also contained inside department table right so we don't want to select that one that is coming from the department table we want the one coming from employees table are we together on that uh, because i asked the ladies and some of the ladies were not yeah yeah yeah, so you, you say, <clears throat> so select E first name, comma, E last name, comma, then you want to see department's name, so D department's name, then from employees, which you, you are renaming it at this point as E, from employees to be E, right? Then you introduce the statement called join or the, the, the clause called join. Now we want to join departments, which is D, right? So you don't fail to include these things. So if you say from employees, and then you don't in include them, up in a point, like it's, 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 it's um, not okay. So at this point, I like echo the E's, and then I echo the D here, and then say, from employees E, from departments D, and then 
the join statement in Akwanga na what we call the on. So, so we are joining um, which columns are we using to join. The same way we were using uh, foreign key then references. So to put on the reference this table uh, on this other one, right? So try to think of what we are doing when we talk about the references. Uh, but then when you want to use a join statement, there's what you call on. So we are joining employees table to departments table, but which two columns are we using to join them, right? So we are using employees department ID. We want to join it on department ID from the departments table. So join departments D on employee department ID is equal to department, department ID. So these two things. So these are the two columns that we're using to join. So that is something that you must remember that the upper kuna equal sign, right, that we are using. So we are using department ID. We are also using department ID, but both of them are coming from two different tables, employees and also department. So once you run this, you'll be able to see, um, okay, what we selected. But even before that, let, let us add the asterisk. So that we know what is happening. Control. So let us select everything. So you'll be able to see that now we have um, employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, higher date, salary, full stop. This information has come from employees table. From employee ID, mpaka kwa salary. All this information is coming from the employees table. Then, department ID, department name, is zimetoka from the department. So you can see, employees table to likuwa na hapa mpaka salary. We have joined all this information to department's uh, information, right? So we have... Yes, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six plus this other one, which is seven, eight. So we have like eight, eight columns now. So we have one table containing eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? All this information, we've joined them now. Are we together on joining? This is just an introduction to joining. There are two things that you have to understand. What, which column are you joining them on, right? Are we together? I'm seeing some people. Uh, anybody with a question on this join? Is there any question? Uh -huh. If there's no question, I think that is um, that is well captured. Um, so I. I was doing this select star so that you see what is happening for these in all these cases. So try that join with all, with the data set that you have. Try it. How many minutes before we break? I hope we ita kwangumu. So Derek presented. Yeah, Mariwa, Mariwa, do something and tell us and show us. Everybody to do, but uh, Mariwa will present. Don't uh, funny. It will be. Uh, shifted from Maria to somebody else. I know we have data sets there. So that is a two minute thing, not even two minutes, um, one minute.
Yes, uh, Mariwa. I think you're you're good now, eh? It's giving me an error. Yeah, just present. You want to see that error? Okay. We'll help you solve it. Are you able to see my screen? Mm. Yeah, yeah, present the workbench here, yeah, we are Okay. So this is my table. I'm using the school ID. Mm -hmm. so it's not joint. Join. Even before that, see your joint. Oh. <laughs> Unless we went into a blunt. Uh, and join. You make a join, do you? Okay, yeah, I was just looking no, at it. It's just for my own reference. It's okay. for my own reference. So if you just think about it, what, what, why do you think there's an error? Even before it took the idea. Um, and where is the, the error highlighted? No, ignore this error. I We can't ignore it. Why should we ignore it? No, my joint started from here. I know, but it was it. You are you are having that error because there's an error. Who could you? Okay, so I can I can do away with this. Why? No, you don't need to do away with it. Uh, do a what? Control Z. Just do another Control Z. Control Z. Uh -huh. I want to you to have that previous Nini Ulikwana. Just finish control Z Mpaka. I mean, I think I'm sure. This was not the only, yeah, Apo Sasa. Uh, so, uh, go this back. This is about retrieving employees. Yeah, but it's because this subquery, you do not have it in the, inside the bracket also. Okay. Put a bracket uh, and after this in. Close this other one. Not that side. You could change from employees. Uh, put a what? Put a. I terminate the statement. I mean, yeah, but that, but I think there is some information that you need to put here for you. You'll write it, but I. Then, so to go up, I select stuff from. Uh, you select all. Yeah, of course. Yeah, select all. So, she and the employee and the in dog and the in dog. No, just write employee. Your table in your corner. Yeah, so that is the, that is the first step. So now go uh, go down to join. Now write the join. Join. Uh -huh. Yeah, right for us the code. Join the department. Naina Shida, if you write it on in capital, so. Okay. The yeah. department D. Uh huh. On. Uh, now go back to your my Imekwa highlighted as an error. Why do you think there is that error? Don't delete. 
or the department ID. Ibuandika tu wana kama itakuwa imepotea. Bado haitapotea. <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing the error, but it's just a simple yeah. thing. Um, Derek, can you tell uh, Maura what the error is? Yeah, there's no D before department ID on the, the last one. Really? Okay, yeah. Okay, there is no D before Nini. Uh, kwa last nini uko mwisho kwa karibu na mali na terminate your statement department id hapo anika d dot there is not gone uh, that is a good observation again uh, valentine yes valentine uh, help valentine Mm -hmm. uh, I am not so sure, but I do not think the asterisk should be there before the e dot first name because it looks like you have already selected what you want to be portrayed. Nani, uh, Mariwa. Yes. When you do, when you say select star. Mm -hmm. It means you want to see everything. Yes. Then you don't need to specify again that E first name, last name. So remove that asterisk. It's either you remove the asterisk or you remove visible to zingine. You understand where the error is? Then I, when once I remove the star uh -huh. and I want to view everything, what do I do? I remove which one? The E first name and last name. And I did. So, so just do it. okay. I cast uh, yeah, asterisk. Mm -hmm. I remove his e first name back a deep department ID. Uh, yeah, you can even remove that space. Okay, so now uh, run the code. Still giving an error. The school ID doesn't exist. So you don't have maybe well Mandika. So in a fact employees. So you could have from employees. And a couple from employees. Yeah. So can you run it? Wait, what's the school department? Oh, it was also departments. What? Departments. No. Yeah, your departments here. Yeah. Departments, yeah, now run it. Another error again. What is it saying? No. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so yours was employee ID, first name, last name, edit. Yeah. So that is that is uh, what we just did. Okay. Now you are you so, seeing are you see, okay, ask the question. So no, once once I, I select all, yeah. I don't need to specify what I want to view. Yes. I'll be able to view everything. Yes. Okay. That is the oh. essence. So if you use asteric, it a video it, it means like you want to see everything. Are we together? Okay. Yes. Okay. Anybody with a question? You can just stop presenting. Yeah, so I think that uh, that uh, that introduces us to joints. Do you have a question? So I have a question. Yes. Now, 
for example, I want to join like three tables. Mm. And you find that one of the table mm. there's no common akuna hiyo common mm. common column for mm. the three. Mm. Will I be able to join the three col- the three tables together? You will only be able to join if there is a are you seeing where we are specifying then that join something on right yes so when you write on it means that there is a commonality true or not true yeah so if if there is nothing that is nini are, are we going to use the on really okay so you'll be able to join just the two that are, have a common column but in most cases you will find that as in this table is related to this table but this other table is related to another table yes so it might so ile table ya mwisho might not be related to this first one but it's related to yes. yeah we will try to see this we'll, we'll try to see those scenarios uh, tomorrow i'm saying you can see your hand is up but 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 what about the full outer full outer join sina joining both the, the values with the first table and the values in the second table na kupatia a list of the two perspective no. of the primary key but there there needs to be a relationship between two tables no, okay you, you you understand the question she's asking is there is no common column hakuna column inafanana like ya which has but full outer join of course full outer join does bring you everything that you have but there has to be a common column yeah, yeah but we'll um, we'll see that uh, tomorrow mariwa eh and thanks for bringing that up yeah so if there's no question then i uh, have i have 